welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today I'm looking at the Ego 18 inch 56 volt chainsaw. Let's check it out. comparison sake this is probably 10 maybe 11 inches in diameter and with a good sharp chain this uh, 18 inch ego chainsaw will just go right through it like nobody's business Okay, so let's take a closer look. What have we learned today? Well, we learned that filming and chainsaw and trees do not go together well. Oh boy. Um, but aside from that, let's see what we learned about this saw. As I mentioned, it's a 18 inch, 18 inch saw, uh, blade on it uh, with a Let's see if I'm gonna, I'm going off of memory, but I think it's a 3 8 uh, 0.051 pitch. So what I mean by all that, if you know your chainsaws, it's a very standard chain. You can pick this uh, a replacement chain up for this at basically any of your local hardware stores, which is great because I've definitely had other electric chainsaw or cordless chainsaws that used a more specialty chain. Looking at you, Steel and Makita and uh, those were really hard to find replacements um, you had to order them and of course had to know ahead of time so that was not as enjoyable um, let's take a look you got your oil reservoir here it is actually fairly easy to to fill in fact this one looks like it needs a, a replenishment and um it's you know obviously a funnel is recommended but you know it's not required you got your standard kickback brake here. I do like this. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a red line here to let you know that go up. Yep, I got the brake engaged. I can't start. It won't start. Pop that back. So it's anti-kickback, which is nice. You have a little light. You can see this coming on. You can choose to turn it on or off. Not really that helpful unless you're chainsawing in the dark, but and it has two levels of illumination. Low, high off um, on the handle itself you got kind of a two-piece safety you pull it, push that in there you go squeeze the the trigger. and that's the way it should be I've, I've had a Makita 36 volt chainsaw that required you to press the on off button every single time you used it okay I think there was a you know a, an auto off after like something ridiculously low 20 seconds 30 seconds something like that uh, and that was just the worst chainsaw I've ever had to use it cut great it was a wonderful chainsaw when it cut but every single time especially when you're cutting by yourself you're gonna set this chainsaw down 
move some logs around, adjust it so you can cut again. You pick it up, you go to cut, and you're like, crap! I gotta reach down and press the button, hold it. You, I, I think it's not just touching it, you gotta hold it, comes on, then you can finally do your cut. It was the worst design in the world for a chainsaw, and I had to get rid of it because it was just it was garbage because of that. That one flaw ruined the whole saw. Apart from that, this, this back to this one, uh, this is a very basic, I mean, you know, chainsaws don't get too elaborate, right? Like you, <laughs> you have your um, brushless motor in here, and I'll, I'll just take this apart for you real quick. Um, this is the best, probably the best piece on this saw is that it's a single oversized dial. I've worked with a lot of different chainsaws. Many of them have the two nut uh, system, and those are good, but they're a real pain. You always have to have a a wrench or, or a tool with you in the field. This you do not. You just unscrew this thing. Just support that blade. Let me see what it's like under there. You turn it until it's loose and then it comes out. Just like that. A little filthy. Uh, we were cutting with this. But it's fantastic uh, design because it's so easy to put back in. You don't have to use your little screwdriver to adjust your your chain tension up and down, you know, um, all these old school ideas that they worked fine, but someone else came along and realized like, hey, look, there is a better way. We can do this smarter and easier. And uh, Ego has done that as well as some others. Give them credit for for improving this design. This really works well. I, and I, I punished this saw. So you just kind of get it on there and the more you twist it, the more it tightens up the chain. I want to make sure that that is not too tight. And there you go. You know, it's just that simple. It's way better than other designs that I've, I've used. It's a beast. I've cut through. Um, I've cut through trees that are uh, actually longer than this 18 inch. I've probably done a 22, 24 inch. You obviously have to kind of cut and work your way around it to make that work but it'll do it from a power perspective. In fact, I'll, I'll show a uh, stump of one that I took down a couple months ago. Okay, here we go. This is the stump of a tree that I took out a couple months ago with the Ego 18 inch chainsaw. And you can see my hand for comparison. My hand has definitely got a pretty good wingspan, or you know, pretty good, I'd say that's at least 10 inches, maybe 11. And you can see it's, it's well past that, so probably close to, should get a tape measure out, but 24 inches, and the chainsaw did it no problem.